asking you for applause, then I hope you're applauding there at home. It's really strange to be performing to a whole pile of folks from all around the globe and not be able to see a single one of you. But I do hope uh, any technical glitches aside, you are able to see me now and that you've enjoyed those first few pieces of music. Welcome to this uh, little show from my studio stage here in Connecticut, our new home. And uh, the reason I'm shouting, if it sounds like I'm shouting, is that the, uh, the volume levels on the microphones are a little strange on these webcasts. But I'm doing my best to make myself heard and hope everything's coming over okay on the other side. And now I've got a lot to get through this evening, so I'm going to keep the chat to an absolute minimum. And as you probably recognize this first few pieces, Bridge Over Troubled Waters, Don't Let That Sun Go Down On Me, and then another Elton John favorite, your song. Uh, I have a special guest, actually I have a couple of special guests to introduce you after the next couple of pieces, but uh, there's one piece I'd like to play now that takes me back to the times when I used to listen in at the living room door to my mother playing the piano. She could play pro properly, she used to read music and play all the classics. But there's a lady I've come to know on the web who runs a wonderful site called Great Piano Videos, and she's occasionally put me up as a guest on there and shown some of my programming, and she's a Chopin fan, a fan of Frederick Chopin's music. So I'd like to make this next, uh, this next piece a little dedication to her. I shall call her Miss K, which is her web-friendly name, and I'm going to play this piece of Chopin for her and I hope that she's watching tonight and enjoys this one as much as you might as well. window that you've got to watch the program through and uh, thank you very much for staying with us for this part of the program. Now often a piece of music will come to me that doesn't really sink in for a little while but a little while back I was watching a wonderful movie with my lovely wife Margaret. It's uh, an Italian movie from quite some time ago but we hadn't seen it when it originally came out and uh, well I won't spoil the story but it's got the most beautiful theme to it and it's called Cinema Paradiso, both the theme and the movie itself. It's a wonderful story about a little Italian boy and his friendship with an older projectionist in a very poor town in Italy uh, around the wartime. And uh, as we got more and more into the movie, this piece would come and float in and float out. And I loved it. I eventually learned it. And when we bought it on an album by Monica Mancini, who's a wonderful vocalist, and she's the daughter of Henry Mancini, the composer. So uh, if you'll indulge me for a few moments, this is a favorite piece of mine that I've been asked for a couple of times by folks who bought a ticket to this event. So I hope it pleases you as much as it pleases me to play it. Cinema Paradiso. <laughs>
that's Cinema Paradiso, and uh, in the name of shameless plugging of an album, uh, that tune, Cinema Paradiso, does appear on my most recent album, Retro Piano Pops, which I believe, with these wonderful stage it folks, should be featured at the bottom of the, uh, the chat page where we're, uh, where, we're, where we're doing this broadcast from. So uh, Retro Piano Pops, you'll find Cinema Paradiso, and perhaps one of the two of the other tunes that uh, we've got coming lined up. Now, I did promise you a special guest earlier on in the program. His name is Norman Johnson, and it's been my privilege to uh, to uh, work alongside him short, uh, a little while ago to film a, a public television special. So I'd like to invite Norman onto the set. He's a super gentleman. I know you're going to love his music, and he has a brand new album out too. He plays a wonderful smooth jazz guitar, much in the style of uh, George Benson and Wes Montgomery, only better than both of them put together, in my humble opinion. Am I right? Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so we're uh, set up to play, I think it's one of the numbers off your, the original album, uh, It's Time to Stood Still. What's this one called? It's called It's Time to Fly. Okay, and it doesn't have any particular significance, or should we just get on and make time to fly? Play? I think it soars a little bit. So. <laughs> okay, that's wonderful. Well, maybe let's uh, just check the oral tune. I'm going to switch over to the guitar here, um, just to... Uh, vary the tone of things a little, if, uh, if that's right with Norman, let's uh, check out your we'll, we'll all find out. I hope you, hope you folks can hear all that, and uh, we'll pick it up, it's time to fly. This is Norman Johnson, and I'm sitting in on his jazz.
And you never know where you meet on these sorts of things. I haven't known Norman for, for that long, but uh, that was beautiful. Time to fly. Thank you so much. Man. And you've got a, your new album out. is called uh, Get It While You Can. Get It While You Can. And that contains mostly your own compositions? Yes, or? mostly my own compositions. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. Well, how about we do something that's even more familiar? Because you, you wrote that one. It's time yes, to I fly. did. Yes. Great stuff. Okay. So how about we do something, um, say something a bit more jazzy and... Uh, uh, a bit more established. How about the uh, Errol Garland on Misty? Oh, that Misty. suit. Great okay. Time. Yeah. And uh, let me also introduce you to the uh, to the film, film set here. We have Don Singer, who's a wonderful percussionist, who's joining us on this number, maybe a little bit later in the program as well. He's going to uh, juice things up for us a little bit. We're going to start off on the piano, and then I'll swap to that, and we'll uh, hopefully make a happy noise doing Misty. Here we go. <laughs>
Thank you very much, Don, for adding that very crisp, nice bit of rhythm to the proceedings. Hope you enjoyed that.